Call of Duty Mobile, ladies and gentlemen. We're on the road to the first ever Call of Duty Mobile World Championships, and man, has it been a bumpy one. And we're not quite at the end of it either, because we've just recently learned that not only will the Call of Duty Mobile World Championships be played online, but unlike initially planned, there will be no world champion this year for COD Mobile. The COD Mobile scene's kind of been all over the place. We've had stories about feuding teams in Europe, featuring tales of impersonation, harassment, and more. And we've had official events in North America plagued by technical issues that could have been a major factor in top-tier orgs, like TSM not qualifying for the championships. Yet despite all these roadblocks, fans and pros alike seem to feel that their dedication was paying off, as this year we were finally set to see the first world championship in the game's history, with $2 million up for grabs and it would be played on land to boot. I've mentioned in a previous report that the 2020 World Championships for Call of Duty Mobile had to be cancelled altogether due to COVID-19 concerns. The good news is that the World Championships for 2021 will take place this December. The bad news is that the event will be held online and split in half between the Eastern scene, comprised of teams from all across Asia and the Middle East, including Japan and China, and the West, which will include teams from Latin America, North America, and Europe. So yes, there will not be a be-all, end-all COD Mobile World Champion this year either, which is less than ideal. And yes, while the official website states that these events will be the first time the Call of Duty Mobile World Championship will feature cross-regional competition, and that the online play will allow more teams to participate, there's still some reason to worry. For example, back in October, a Valorant LCQ in North America was defined by technical issues caused by the net play on regional servers. God, we... <laughs> I'm holding my breath here, Doug. I'm holding my breath. There it is. We're able to actually see that round play out. Aaron, I, how is he alive, Doug? How is he alive at the end of this the round? The land finals for COD Mobile was set to feature 16 teams who qualified from around the world. Now, with the split, each of the two regions will have 12 teams competing for the gold. And while more teams participating is certainly good for competition's sake, one has to imagine that more teams participating across greater distances can easily create more stability issues. Either way, 12 teams in each region is what it's going to be. Each region will compete across two days, with the West throwing down on December 4th and 5th, and the East shooting out on December 11th and 12th. Day 1 will be taken up by a round-robin tournament, wherein the top four teams will advance into a double elimination bracket held on Day 2. Now, the crux of this is that online play will force certain teams to travel to areas with centralized servers to maintain competitive integrity. For teams from Latin America and Europe, these servers are located in Mexico City. As for qualifying teams from the USA, Canada, and Mexico, they will be able to play from where they are without the need to travel. I'll leave it to you whether or not that's a good thing or a bad thing. On the flip side, Qualifying teams for the Eastern Finals will have to play from their home countries. It is hoped that centralized servers located in Mumbai, Singapore, Hong Kong, and Tokyo will help to mitigate the distance between players. Needless to say, this was a disappointing development for some, but a lifeline for others. The prize split has already been announced, with the $2 million pot being split right down the middle. And eight teams that would have otherwise been out of the running now have a path to a payout. Hopefully, we'll get to see the Eastern and Western champions face off at some point to determine who is truly the best of the best. But only time will tell. I mean, it's doubtful that the game and its scene are going anywhere. There's always next year, right? So look, I know it's disappointing that we still have not escaped the shadow of this pandemic, but one has to applaud Activision for prioritizing the safety of its competitors. Travel conditions still vary drastically from country to country, and the threat of coronavirus is still very real. It forced the international to forego fans attending in person, and that announcement was made at the last minute. Despite all their preparation, though, two Dota 2 pros came out of the event with positive diagnoses, and others found themselves stuck in Bucharest, Romania due to travel issues brought on by the pandemic. 
And who can forget that it's only been a few months since a COVID scare threatened the world championships of COD Mobile's console counterpart. The Atlanta phase ultimately took home the gold with fans in attendance, but strengthened protocols were necessary in light of several positive COVID diagnoses across the professional rosters, Skump and Envoy principal among them. It was unknown if certain players, including Skump, would even be cleared to compete until days before. At the very least though, the very first World Championship for Call of Duty Mobile is happening. And ultimately, I would say that's a good thing. Both events will be live streamed on Twitch and YouTube. So, what teams are you looking forward to seeing and who do you think is going to take it home in each region? As always, be safe and be good to each other.